My name is Jamie Irvin. I'm the host of the Heavy Duty Parts Report, and this is another edition of HDPR Spotlight. Today, we are featuring Tim Phillips. Now, Tim has 30 plus years of experience in the heavy duty parts industry. He's worked for great companies like uh, SignalStat, Grody, Donaldson, and Lubrifiner. And it is my pleasure to welcome Tim to the show. Tim, welcome to HDPR Spotlight. Uh, thank you, Jamie. A pleasure to be here. So, Tim, I, I'd like to know, you've, you've worked in the industry a long time. You obviously enjoy working in the heavy-duty parts industry. What is it about the industry that you enjoy the most? I, I'd start with, I'd, I'd say the people. I mean, the distributors, the, the dealers, the fleets, they're all very knowledgeable. They're uh, open to change. Uh, a lot of talented, hardworking, honest people that we have the pleasure to work with. And, uh, you know, it's an industry where service and, and quality does matter. Yeah, those are some of the very things that I love about the industry. Now, Tim, I'd really like to know, with this experience that you've gained over these years, what are three lessons that you've learned when it comes to increasing sales? I think the most important thing you can do is, is, is communication and uh, having the ability to listen to what the customer's needs are and how to adapt that into what your product offering is. And then also to, to number one and foremost, again, is keep your commitment. I mean, you want to be able to, if you commit to something to follow up within the time frame you committed to and um, make sure that the customer know you're, you care about them and you're there to support them. Those are important lessons and I appreciate you sharing those with me. Now, as a sales leader, what are the first three things you're going to do in your next role? I think the most important thing to do is to, is to get in there and get to know your team. Uh, get to see the, how, what the makeup is, how to fit in, what the strengths and weaknesses may be, uh, learn what the opportunities are and uh, how you can adapt to those. And then uh, put, you know, ultimately put together a short-term and long-term strategy uh, that's going to make the company successful and be able to continue on the growth path that they're hopefully on or want to be on. Yeah, I think that that's so important. You know, when you touched on communication and having a plan, it made me think of one of my mentors who who basically said, if you don't know what you're aiming at, you're never going to hit it. So it's so important to have that plan in place. If you really would like to leave people with just one thing, you know, maybe there's a prospective employer who's watching this video. What's maybe one thing that you want people to know about you, Tim? I, I would say I'm highly adaptable. I mean, I've been at the industry a long time. I've had the pleasure of uh, being able to develop, you know, key customers, uh, a lot of experience in business development and uh, team building. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm committed to growth. I'm uh, driven to succeed. But uh, the highly adaptable part to, to go with the flow and make things work is probably one of my biggest assets. You've been watching HDPR Spotlight, and today we've been featuring Tim Phillips. If you'd like to learn more about Tim, I've included his LinkedIn uh, URL in the show notes so that you will be able to connect directly with him. Tim, thank you so much for being on uh, our edition of HDPR Spotlight today. Jamie, thank you for the opportunity. You can watch our next video. Make sure to click the like button, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.